So let's print letters of zero. This will return the first item in this list. So when we run this program, we'll get A. Now, similar to strings, if we pass a negative index here, like negative one, this will return the first item from the end of the list. So when you run this, we'll get D. Using square brackets, we can also modify items in the list. So let's change the first item to a capital A and then print the entire list. There you go. So this is the basic of accessing individual elements in a list. Now earlier in the course, you learned that we can use two indexes to slice a string. We have the exact same concept here. So we add square brackets, first index, colon, second index. And this will return a new list with the first three items in our original list. So if we print our original list, you can see that it's not changed. Now, just like strings, if you don't specify the first argument, zero will be assumed by default. So as you can see, these two expressions produce the exact same result. Similarly, if you don't include the end index, by default, the length of the list will be used here. So this expression will return a new list with all the items in the original list. And similarly, we can also exclude the start index here. And with this syntax, we can get a copy of our original list. There you go. Now, when slicing a string, we can also pass a step. And this is useful in situations where you want to return every second or every third element in the original list. So now when we run this code, we'll get A and C. So B will be skipped. Let me show you using a better example. So I'm going to delete everything here. Create a new list called numbers. Here we're going to use the list function and pass range of 20. Let's print our list. So we get numbers 0 to 19. Okay. Now let's see what happens when we add square brackets here with two colons and two. This will return every other element in the original list. Take a look. So we get all the even numbers, zero, two, four, and so on. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Here is another cool thing you can do here. Let's change the step to negative one. As you can see, this will return all the items in the original list, but in reverse order. So these are some useful things you can do with lists. Next, we'll look at unpacking lists.